What's up everyone, it's December 18th, 2020. This is my week 17 recap of my Fit to Fat to 40 journey, which means I have about a week left, uh, about nine days technically, uh, but who's counting, right? Um, I'm really, really excited for this part of the journey to be over. Um, I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being exhausted, brain fog, lethargy, uh, lack of motivation, um, you know, more of a negative mindset. I'm ready for all that stuff to be over and I'm looking forward to you know, turning the corner and getting back, not so much my body back, I know my body will eventually come back, but the most important thing for me is just feeling healthy, feeling like I have energy, you know, a more of a positive mindset, I feel like more myself, and I'm really, really excited for that to happen. So this past week, man, okay, first of all, <laughs> I legit almost died um, doing a, a, a CrossFit workout that, um, so basically I teamed up with these guys called the Buttery Bros. They have a YouTube channel, they're these CrossFit documentary guys. And so basically at the beginning of my journey, we did a baseline test of a VO2 max. So I tested my VO2 max and I did a workout called Jackie, which is a thousand meter row, 50 thrusters with a 45 pound barbell and then 30 pulps for time and last time i did it in under seven minutes so it's like a sprint you go as fast as you can boom 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 and you go now they wanted me to do that that same test to kind of compare results obviously i haven't worked out in four months and even walking i get out of breath and so and it was funny because they had me dress up as santa and the elves uh they dressed up as elves and uh so it was funny, we were in the gym, I was in my costume and stuff like that, and the first thing we do right off the bat is the VO2 max test. And I'm like, okay, this is something where you have to run at a certain pace, and then they increase the incline continuously, for, and you just go and as long as you can until you tap out. So it's like a maximum effort type thing where you push yourself, push yourself, push yourself, and you just go until like either you, you, you're like, I can't go anymore. Um, so you, you get your max threshold. And so for me, I did really you know, decent the first time, this time around, not so much. <laughs> I think I was on the treadmill for a total of six minutes and uh, that's all I could take. And um, I was feeling very shaky afterwards. And then, then we had to do a pancake eating contest. So they wanted to you know, go head to head with me with eating a bunch of pancakes. And these pancakes were huge and fluffy and dense. And like I only ate three, but you know, same thing with them. Or I think I had four, four. But it was um, a lot. And then I had to go from that to, um, <laughs> to uh, doing the Jackie workout. And I just, I was like, my body does not move the same way. I couldn't do the pull-ups, so I had to do these kipping pull-ups where you kind of use the momentum to get your chin above the bar. It's not a real pull-up, it's a, it's a cheating pull-up or something, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it took me under seven minutes to do it the first time. It took me almost 14 minutes <laughs> to do it this time. And it was really, really hard. And now I'm, like that was just yesterday, and, I, and then I didn't sleep well last night. And so now I'm paying, paying the price today. And I'm just like, oh, I am nervous for the journey back to fit because this was a little taste of what it's going to be like. And I know that journey is going to suck really, really bad. So I'm still alive, uh, <laughs> barely. And uh, that, was, that was a fun thing to do. I think it'll be really good footage when that, when that video airs. Uh, this week was really good with my girls. We had a lot of good fun times. We did some Christmas tradition type things and we, we really had fun. And that was really important for me because it helps me be less stressed out when I'm more patient with them and, I'm, and they're not as stressed out. And so this week was really, really good for us as a family to do that. Um, and I'm, I feel like I'm seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. I'm seeing some, a breath of fresh air um, when it comes to uh, you know, the future. Um, and uh, you know, going through a hard breakup with Julie, there was times where I felt like you know, uh, lots of despair, lots of sadness, confusion, depression, um, not feeling hopeful, feeling very negative about myself, about you know, the breakup, about the future, and on top of the feelings that, and emotions that I'm feeling from this Fit to Fat to 40 journey. So I can say, even though I'm exhausted today, I am feeling better, more positive which is good. And so, um, yeah, I gained, man, I, I stepped up my game and gained a lot more weight this week. Last week I only gained like 0.2 pounds, which I knew was because of my stress levels were really high. And so now this time I am, um, 
I'm showing up and, uh, you know, committed to gaining this weight for the last little bit. Like I want to cross the finish line, not just like surviving, but like thriving, like saying, hey, I did my best. I'm going to finish this journey like the best I can, just like I would any other, you know, race or anything else I've ever done in my life. So I'm almost there. I can smell the finish line. My 40th birthday, we got some fun things planned for that day. So uh, really excited to share that with you guys. And um, yeah, thanks for all the positive uh, thoughts and prayers. And um, it's been really, really comforting to see all the support. And I'm really excited to do the journey back to fit with so many people from all over the world. Like so many people are motivated. And this is why I did this journey because I knew that people come January would want to do the journey with me. They see the struggles that I'm going through they can see themselves through these struggles and they're like, I want to do this journey with him and us doing it together is going to be really powerful. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys next week.